Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilius, your presiding judge, chairman, and both person for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. I'll talk about it. Today we're going to talk about the... I can't really call it a beef. I can't call it a feud. But we're going to talk about what's going on between Oprah Winfrey and Monique. Okay. So Monique recently have been um, publicly speaking out against the biasness that's taking place with the Netflix boycotting. Also, um, bringing up things about and concerning her relationship with Oprah Winfrey. Now, Monique blamed Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, <coughs> and Lee Daniels for sabotaging her career for the past eight years during a pressure situation where um, Monique was given $50,000 to do the movie. They wanted her to do promotion uh, to come overseas to help to promote the movie. Monique declined, said she was going to chill with her family because it was supposed to have been free promotion and she wasn't going to do any free promotion. And if she was going to be asked to depart from her family to do promotions, she wanted to be reimbursed. She wanted to be taken care of, you know, and um, she was feeling some type of way. Uh, they were disappointed in her saying those things and they didn't want to pay her for the free promotion and things like that. So things was bad on that end. But this was the one that took the straw, I believe. This the one that took the straw the, mer the most. Monique feels allegedly that Oprah Winfrey backstabbed her. Monique's <coughs> Monique uh, addresses a situation that took place when Oprah Winfrey called her. Oprah Winfrey called Monique and Monique got the phone like, hey, how you doing, sis? You know, because she figured that's the relationship they had, a sister-sister relationship. And Oprah goes on to tell Monique, hey, I got a call from your brother. And this is the brother who physically abused Monique, who had been raping Monique. I got a call from your brother. He want to come on my show. We would have liked you to come on too. Immediately, Monique declined. No, I'm not going to have no part of that. I'm not going to be shamed. I'm not going to be relive these things like that. That's my brother. That's some type of nasty type. No, I'm not doing it. <clears throat> That's how she's feeling. That's what she's saying. I don't want no part of the circus act. I'm not going to do it. Then she goes on to say she shared personal things with Oprah concerning her mother. That she confided in with Oprah. Only for Oprah to also, even knowing that Monique, this Monique words, even knowing ahead of time, the thing that she shared with Oprah concerning her mother, that they was on bad terms and went in detail about some situations. Oprah still invited her mother to her show. Monique said that she wanted Oprah to know, I don't want my mom on your show so the world can see how money hungry this woman is. These are Monique words. And, and, and they want her parents on that show. And she said her father, which is deceased now, it was an embarrassment to her. Because even on the show, he was drunk. He was drunk. And she felt Oprah took that opportunity. Took that opportunity in so many ways to, like, shame her. 
Now, if all that which Monique is saying is true, yeah, that real dirty and grimy. You first you you exploit my family, and you financially ruin my career at the same time. Here's my take on on that, and I just got to address these things. Oprah is a billionaire. What do you get, Oprah, out of? What do you get out of that? What do you get out of bringing Monique Brother on your show to address and speak about what he did to this woman who's a public figure? What do you get out of bringing her parents on your show after she then told you the relationship between her mother and them? You don't know that woman mother. You don't know that woman brother. You don't know that woman father. The only ties you have with them is through her. Who's supposed to be your sister? That's what Mo this is what Monique saying. Oprah was asked in an interview through the brother who was interviewing her. Monique is coming out speaking against you. Why haven't you really addressed it and talked about it? Oprah's response was: When people are negative, you can't fight negative energy with negative energy. You fight negative energy by rising above it. This immediately struck Monique and she took to social media and let it be known. Like, look, you can call it negative. You can call it negative, but sometimes the truth can be taken as being negative. But what have I lied about? See, challenge on the truth. You call it negative. And sometimes the truth can be viewed as being negative. And sometimes the truth is negative, even though it's the truth. But what did I lie about? Hashtag, the truth shall set you free. Again, my take on this is what do you gain from this Oprah, allegedly? What do you gain from you speaking with Monique? Because that's who you have the relationship with. You don't have the relationship with the mother, the father, or the brother. You have the relationship with Monique. It may not be like you and Gail's relationship is, but for the most part, if this woman is calling you sis, y'all have to have some type of history to even use those words in a nurturing, loving way. Even for this woman to confide in you privately personal issues in her life. And you, a wiser, older woman, should understand and respect that man, that woman's wishes on those things. And that is like appalling. And that is like exploitation. When you one of the you the most powerful, one of the most powerful women in the United States, for my family to be on your platform to show where I come from, the embarrassment. Of the my mother being money hungry, allegedly. My father being an alcoholic, allegedly. My brother, who been physically abusing me, allegedly. Yeah, that says a lot, man. I could understand why she mad. I could understand why Monique feel the way that she feel. And I think, man, that ain't cool. That ain't cool because, again, you are a billionaire. This woman complaining over $500,000 going through, going through things with Netflix for $500,000. You a billionaire. Having her brother on your platform really does nothing for you. You're not hurting for money. You don't need nothing. He's not a star. Only thing he can do is shame her. The only thing their parents can do is shame her. Nobody knows them. But she's the public figure who, for the most, most part, people know. I think that was real shifty. I think that was very grimy. I think that was very, very bogus. Bogus. And it's for you as a woman who consider herself to be a woman of standards, a woman of truth and morality, 
love and compassion, who people gather themselves around you, who you uh, made America love you by showing love, compassion, and care for others. I think he was out of pocket. I'm just keeping it real. Judging these situations and matter, I believe you definitely was out of pocket on this, uh, uh, Oprah. It seemed like some inner type. It, it, I think it was very spiteful and malicious. That's my view on it. I really believe that. And I don't think that, that that's cool. I think you should have respected that woman's wishes. I think you should have declined that show. You don't need it. And, and, and I think that was wrong. That was bogus. That was out of pocket, man. That was definitely out of pocket, man. And this woman also blames y'all for doing some backhanded stuff to her career that she's publicly on record talking about. I don't know, man. I mean, I could understand where she's coming from. And if those things are true, that's another thing Monique said that Oprah said that really offended her. She said when she told Oprah how she felt about the situation, Oprah said, if you think that I may have offended you, I apologize. She felt now she was playing on her. <clears throat> Monique felt now when, when Oprah said that, now you're playing with my intelligence, man. Do not sit there and Manip manipulate the situation. What do you mean if I think? You know exactly what you're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what you're doing. You know the intentions and motives behind what you did. And I understand where she's coming from, man. I understand exactly where she's coming from. And looking over these situations and seeing that that definitely went like that <clears throat> when she asked you uh, to name what she lied about and you wasn't able to say so. It proves her innocence over yours. And then you seeing her mother at your show, her father at your show, and the brother at the show talking about what they did to, to uh, Monique. Yeah, it shows Monique innocence. It shows Monique innocence. This is my ruling. I'm ruling that you humble yourself. I'm ruling that if you have any decency in your heart, that you apologize to that woman and you treat that woman fair and give her what's rightfully just hers that may be old. That you call that woman and you apologize to that woman. And you apologize to that woman with a sincere, genuine apology that y'all make him move on and develop a better relationship. Because when you, when somebody is telling you you hurt them, when somebody is telling you you did them wrong, it's not for you really to challenge it. It's for you to listen. It's for you to understand where they're coming from. And it's for you, if possible, things can be done to reconcile and make peace. That's my ruling, and that's my judgment. Judgment is in favor for Monique. You're a billionaire. Get that woman some money. See that, <laughs> see that lady want, <laughs> want a Netflix deal. Man, get that woman some of that money. You a, you a billionaire. You, gonna, you, you ain't going to get to spend that money. You're going to die before that money get to get spent. Get some people some of that money. <laughs> Loan me something. <laughs> Hit my head. PayPal me. <laughs> PayPal me, Oprah. And I'll overturn this ruling. I'm a judge. You know I can be bribed. <laughs> With that being said, I'm signing off on this. Pay that woman and apologize to her. Uh, give me a fax of that. Thank you. And order me a mochaccino. Thank you. Uh, with that being said, this is Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth 1UF.